Hi, I'm Daniel Ackerman, one of the curators here at Mesda in Old Salem. Thanks to your votes, today we're going to take a closer look at this long rifle, made in Wythe County, Virginia in the 1790s. Long rifles like the ones in this gallery represent a uniquely American art form. They were developed beginning in the middle of the 18th century by German-speaking gunsmiths in southeastern Pennsylvania. Their long, large-caliber rifled barrels made them perfect for taking down game at long distances. And they were solidly and ruggedly built, which made them perfect for use in the Inland South. It helps to understand the parts, or the architecture of a long rifle. Long rifles have three main parts, the lock, the stock, and the barrel. The lock is the spring-loaded mechanism that ignites the charge in the barrel. The lock is set into the stock of the gun, and the stock is made from hard, tightly grained wood, often maple or walnut. The long iron barrel is attached to the stock with pins. The barrel is rifled inside. This means that there are grooves cut into its interior that cause the ball to spin when it's shot. This gives the ball incredible accuracy at very long range, something valuable if you're tracking game over long distances. On most rifles, a patch box is inset into the stock of the gun. It's used to hold patches, small pieces of fabric that were used to tightly wedge the ball and the gunpowder into the barrel. This patch box is made of iron, and it opens by pressing the small button right here. As settlers moved along the Great Wagon Road from southeastern Pennsylvania into the Shenandoah Valley, and then into the North Carolina Piedmont, upstate South Carolina, and Piedmont, Georgia, they carried their rifles and their rifle-making traditions with them. Over time, individual areas became known for their rifle making. For example, Salem, North Carolina was home to one of the most important American rifle making traditions. Experts can look at the architecture of a rifle and often determine where it was made based on its unique characteristics. Based on where this rifle was found, its architecture, and its decoration, we believe it was made in Wythe County, Virginia and probably relates to the work of the Honecker family of gunmakers. Wythe County, Virginia was an important crossroads in early America. It was where the Great Wagon Road, the main north-south artery of the Inland South, intersected with the roads that carried settlers beyond the mountains into Tennessee and Kentucky. Gunsmiths had to be the master of many trades. They needed to be woodworkers, metal workers, and skilled in the mechanical arts in order to make long rifles that were functional and beautiful. The most celebrated American long rifles are elaborately carved and inlaid with brass, silver, or even gold. Those survive because they were treasured but their survival gives us a skewed idea of what was really being made and used in the Inland South. Of course, it's worth remembering that the settlement that was made possible by the American Long Rifle was also responsible for massive disruption among the native peoples who lived in the Inland South. What makes this Long Rifle special to us is that it's not particularly flashy. The craftsman has created an object with its whimsically shaped patch box and its touch of carving that's both useful and practical. It's an object that speaks to the place where it was made, the person who used it, and to a uniquely American art form. If you'd like to learn more about this object or any of the objects in Mesda's collection, visit our website, mesda.org. While you're there, you can search the entire collection, use our research databases, and check out the Mesda Journal, where you'll find 45 years of Southern decorative arts research and scholarship. And if there's an object you'd like to take a closer look at, let me know in the comments. Thanks for taking a closer look.